Hello and welcome to the demo of Magic Card. This is the first part of a two series video demo. Let me start with a brief introduction of Magic Card. Magic Card is a ready made solution that helps bring you your store on mobile. With its customizable Android and iPhone applications, it really helps you in increasing the reach of your store to far off customers. In this first part, we are going to see the demo of the mobile application that will be used by the customers to order from your store. A user will download your mobile application from iTunes or Play Store. After installing the application, the user will register on your app using either the mobile number or the email ID. A text message will be sent to this mobile number to verify the number and then he can start using the application. Also, they can register themselves on the app using the Facebook and Google Plus accounts. Once registered, they will go to the home screen of the application. The home screen is a really simple and easy to use screen. The top section of the home screen is used to display your store banners, any upcoming events like sales, or any ongoing offers. The rest of the screen displays different categories and top selling products of the respective categories. The fixed footer is used to navigate to different sections of the application like categories, wishlist and notifications. The user can click on the more button uh, to access this, his profile or other settings within the app. Let's have a look at these screens one at a time. The user can start from browsing the categories and looking for the products available in the store. Alternatively, the user can also search for the products that they are looking for. The search is provided on home screen as well as on several other screens. The category screen can be opened from the footer. On the category screen, the user can see different categories of products available and a brief description of the subcategories in each category. Clicking on any one category will lead the user to specific category screen and the user will then be able to browse through all the products available in that particular category. This screen can also be opened directly from the home screen when the user uh, clicks on the see all button uh, from any category. On this screen, users can browse the products in subcategories, use the filters to fasten their browsing and sort the results. Clicking on any product from this screen or from the home screen will open the product details page. On this page, the user can view the details of the product, the price of the product and use the plus and minus buttons to add or remove this product to their cart. The products can be added to the cart while browsing and from the home page. Clicking on the plus button will increase the quantity of the product in the cart while minus sign decreases the quantity of that product from the cart. Also, if the user is not sure about adding a specific product to the cart or he just wants to create a monthly list, he can click on the little heart icon on that product to add that product to the wish list. The user can review his list later and add those products to cart from the list or choose to remove them. Once uh, the user has added all the products to the cart, he can go to the cart from top right of the screen and review his cart. On the cart screen, the user can see all the products he has added to the cart, choose to increase or decrease the quantity of a product, review the total amount and add any coupons or redeem any referral points and he can choose to continue to check out. He can also choose to continue to shop if he wants to add more products. Clicking on this button will take the user back to the home screen. If the user chooses to continue to check out, he will then be asked for his address. If he's a new user, he can add a new address. If he's an existing user, he can choose from an existing address. 
once he selects his address for delivery of orders he can continue to review the order and proceed to checkout on the next screen he can choose the time slots for delivery these slots are dynamic and can be managed from the back end according to your store's convenience once the delivery date and time slot is selected and the order is reviewed you can proceed to payment screen here you can provide different options of payment for the order the cash on delivery or payment by credit card or debit card are available we can also customize these payment pay methods according to the need once the order is placed the store owner will get a notification of this new order at the back end and he can then process the order and have it delivered to this address while the store owner chooses to process the order the ch or change the order status the user will keep getting the notifications on the order status they can track a particular order status when they go to the notification screen besides ordering from your store the users are provided different settings to manage their app account on clicking the ellipses or more button on the footer the user can access his account here user has several account settings and added the details let's have a look at these screens firstly a user can add or edit his profile details on clicking the profile button a new screen will open where he can add or edit his general details he can use the screen to change his mobile number the user can also use the edit profile screen to change his password The next screen in the settings is the order summary. Clicking on this button, the user can see the history of all the orders he has placed from the app till date. On the order summary screen, the user is presented with a brief summary of all the orders and their current status. The recent orders might still be in progress or pending status. He can click on any order and he will have the access to all the details of that respective order. He can use the order details screen to reorder the same order. Only the orders that have been delivered can be reordered. Clicking on reorder will add all the products from that particular order to the cart and user can edit the cart and proceed to checkout. Back on the order summary screen, the user can also provide the feedback of any specific order. This feedback is submitted to the back end where the store owner can have a look at it. User can use the screen as well to reorder previously delivered orders. Magic Cart inherently provides the store owners with a facility to provide their recurring customers with some loyalty and reference points that they can use to avail discounts in their orders. The reference points and bonus points can be managed from the store owner admin backend. The user can have a look at all their points that they have earned so far in the My Points section. This will show the user a bifurcation of different bonus points they have earned over the period of time. User can also use the screen to add the new address or edit the existing address in the My Address section. Clicking on the My Address section will open the Addresses screen where the user will have the option to edit the existing address or add a new one. If a user cannot find any product on your store's app, he can use the request product screen to submit a request for a product by entering the name and description of that product. Again, the store owner can see all the requests from different customers in the backend and add those products in the inventory. When a product is added, the store owner can change the status of the product to be in store and all the users will then get a notification that their product is now available on the app and they can order it. Finally, a user can log out of the app at any time from and he will be redirected to the login screen.
on the login screen he can again fill his credentials and go through the text message verification to start using the app again so this is mostly the functionality that a customer of your store's mobile application will get using magic card in the next video we'll provide a detailed description of the admin backend for store owners and the logistics app thank you for watching this demo have a good day